Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel Buy Better. My name is Eva and today we're gonna spend the day together freelancing, working, cooking, maybe going to the sport. We'll see. Um, first of all, sorry for my look. Like... <laughs> In the morning, sometimes I'm working in my pajamas. I know that's not like the best thing to do, but um, yeah, guilty. Um, I have quite a lot of stuff to do today. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things on my to-do list, which is a lot. Normally I have a bit less, so I hope I can go to the gym in my lunch break. I'm not sure. At the moment it's 10 a.m. I was already doing some administrative stuff this morning and yeah now i'm going to start to work uh, for my freelance clients and i'll update you later an email that I was like pushing back all the time because I didn't want to write it do you know that as well and so I wrote it so I'm glad I did it and um, I also did some minor tasks because I like often to start with a minor task I know that normally you should not do that and start like with the highest priority but I cannot really concentrate on my highest priority tasks if I still have lots of little little things to do uh, so I started with them and now I'm ready to jump into my bigger tasks. I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six tasks left. So yeah, and it's 11.30 um, a.m. I think I work an hour and then I'll do a lunch break and yeah, check in back in with you. So I finished the morning, my morning work, I started analyzing um, some user test results uh, that I did for one of my clients and I'll still have to do lots of work. I'm doing like a presentation thing to show them on Friday and yeah, I'll eat now because I'm very hungry because normally I do some kind of intermittent fasting, not very like strict. Sometimes I eat like after 14 hours or like 12 or something but I still try to not eat breakfast because I feel like my body prefers that. I never ate breakfast when I was younger and I only started two years ago and I feel like I gained a lot of weight through that. I don't know. And I also feel very heavy every time so I just eat very very early lunch now. Uh, yeah so I'm going to cook. I'll see what I can find in my fridge. I didn't do grocery shopping so there might be only rests. So let's see, we have some feta cheese, some leftover tofu, um, mushrooms, parmesan cheese, I still have the pumpkin, um, potatoes and a zucchini. Let me think about that. Okay, maybe I fill you in on my thought process. Now I'm thinking, okay, I have feta cheese and parmesan cheese and a zucchini. So I could fill, do a filled zucchini, a stuffed zucchini, maybe with mushrooms in it. So I could use that up. I still have some cre um, cream here. So I could put the cream as like a sauce. That could be nice. I could make some rice with that. I still have rice here. That's okay. But I wouldn't use up the pumpkin. Is that a problem? I'm not sure. But I think I'll do that. That's a quick lunch. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so I have all my ingredients here. Zucchini, feta, parmesan cheese, mushrooms, cream. Let's start cooking the rice. So I always measure out uh, 80 grams of rice per person. That's normally enough. I'm really bad at eyeballing it. So, um, and I always make too much food. So, now I always measure my pasta and also my rice because otherwise it's just way too much. Um, then I boil the rice on like highest temperature until it's boiling and then I put it back to like three, three out of nine. My oven works until nine, like until the number nine. And then I'll just let it cook with 
a lid on top and yeah. of the tofu in it because I still have it and it's a bit like ground meat. Crumble it in here and then mix it with the cream and everything. And they're ready to go in the oven and as you can see I often actually change the recipe up while I cook so uh, initially I thought I would make like some um, mushrooms mixed with the feta and the cream to put it into the zucchini but while I was cooking I thought okay I'd add the tofu and I think I'll just do like a cream dip with um, the cream so I could dip the zucchini, like the baked zucchini, into the dip, maybe with th some herbs or something. So they go into the oven. So my easiest recipe for um, a quick dip is just like cream cheese or cream or yogurt and I'll just put salt in it and ideally fresh herbs like um, those little onion thingies but I don't have that at the moment I just have them um, like dried those I don't know how they are called in English and I just put them dried and some pepper This is a really nice and uh, quick dip, like for example, even for roasted potatoes or um, yeah, like anything like that, really. Okay, so the rice is cooking. I'll put it down to three. And put the lid on, and now it's cooking. And while I'm cooking, I'll tackle this situation here. This is the before and and after. Yay! Et voila! This is the final dish. We have the zucchini, the rice, and the dip. So I had lunch and I'm just going to head out to the gym real quick and I don't have lots of time but I think I'll just go for a quick run like 25 minutes or something. Let's go!
to shower now. So I'm finally dressed and I showered and my hair is still drying because I'm trying out this new thing. Um, actually, normally I have my hair really strict. You've seen it in videos before. It's like uh, the parting is super strict and I've always had it like this. And I'm trying out to just let, let it dry more naturally. It's actually as straight as it is, as it is when I like dry it with a hair dryer. So that doesn't change. No illusions. My hair is just so, so straight. But um, yeah, I'm trying out to... Just let us do its thing a bit more and yeah, I'm drying it like this and now I'm making a tea and then it's back to work. Okay, I'll finish working for today because I, I reached my personal goal for the work day and I'm going to edit a video. Yeah, then let's see what I do with my afternoon. I might have to take something to the post office. I'll see if it's still open and yeah. I'm also looking for a smartphone for my grandma because she's doing like a course about smartphones soon and she's going to buy one and I'm really happy because I live quite far from her and it would be really nice to speak to her about WhatsApp and everything. So I'm currently looking into options. I have this, um, there's this special like smartphone for elderly people and apparently it has a remote function where if she doesn't understand like how to use it, I can connect to it from distance and do it for her but I'm not sure if this is better or like a real smartphone I'm still looking into it so here we get a nice sneak peek but the video is already up when you see this one so I just edited the video it is now rendering and then I'm going to upload it tomorrow I think or even this evening because it might take some time we'll see so I did my video it's uploading 5% so much time uh... So I'll go grocery shopping now. <clears throat> I'll bring my little uh, caddy because um, I'm going to Lidl and the Lidl is a bit far away and I don't want to carry all the groceries in a bag. And I don't own the Navigo Pass anymore. For those of you who live in Paris, the Navigo Pass is um, like the Oyster card, kind of like the, the metro ticket. And I had the flat rate uh, when I still worked in a company. But now that I work for myself, I need to pay the full price and... It's very expensive and I don't travel so much anymore because I don't need to go to work every day. And yeah, that's why I don't have it anymore and I prefer to go <laughs> shopping by foot. So let's see if I... It's like 20 minute walk away or something like that. So yeah, let's see. So I'm back from grocery shopping. I was at Lidl and I thought I'd share with you what I got, like a little food haul. Mm. And just a side note, there's so much plastic and I really don't like buying that much plastic normally. I even have those little bulk food um, bags, I'll show you, like those. And maybe I'll link some similar ones down below. I didn't buy them on Amazon, but I'll, I'll have a look if they exist, I don't know. But Lidl has so much plastic, especially for um, uh, fruits and vegetables. And I'm on a budget at the moment, so yeah, cannot help it. So I got a broccoli because I really love broccoli. I got some frozen pizza because some friends are coming over on Wednesday. And yeah, I'm just going to put them in the oven. <clears throat> I also got some white wine for that. I got two bell peppers because I use them in lots of recipes, some soy milk because um, my boyfriend is lactose intolerant and also I don't really like drinking real milk. I still eat like dairy products and everything but I kind of try to reduce them because I heard that milk is not that healthy for you. I'm not sure about that so but I personally don't drink it a lot. I bought some eggs, some toilet cleaner, some ginger because I still have my pumpkin left and I think I'll do a ginger pumpkin soup. <clears throat> some, it's not called yogurt, what's like the heavier version of yogurt, I don't know, it's like yogurt. Some cream. Some shower gel, some muesli, I'm a real German so I need my muesli, 
Um, some chicken for my boyfriend. Carrot. A plum. Just for like a snack after work or something. Some cherry tomatoes. Um, cream cheese. And they had an offer of spätzle, it's like uh, some German noodle, it's only like 78 cents or something. So I was like, yay, come to me. Some corn, because I really, really love corn. And some fish, it's carp, carp, maybe in English. And some onions. Yeah, that's kind of everything I got. And it was 31 euros and something. Needless great for budgeting. So I'm gonna make some dinner. I'll do some tuna cream, which is a great recipe I found online. I can link it down below. It's super easy and great recipe for summer. Or if you just want a quick lunch or a quick dinner. And I like the cream with some vegetables, carrots and cucumber. I'll show you the end the result. So that's the result. <coughs> Just some vegetables and the cream. It's really good. It does look maybe a bit strange on camera, but it's really good. Uh, yeah, and I think I'll end the vlog here. I just have a chill evening, eat my food, watch some vlogs, some YouTube, and yeah, see you next time. Have a great evening. Give this video a like, subscribe, and see you. Bye bye.